Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am the Youngblood and today we're going to talk about the Jordan 30. Now when I picked up the Jordan 30, I was like, okay, well I've never worn a, a Jordan basketball shoe in my life. So I have a lot of expectations from what people have been saying about the Jordan 29, but not like all predecessors, uh, every shoe lives up to the hype or expectation. But I actually quite enjoyed wearing the Jordan 30. Um, the main thing that I liked was the, the lightweight upper, which is a fly net and jacquard pattern. And I'm pretty sure the jacquard is made to be like a throwback to MJ's glory days at um, North Carolina. Um, it is lightweight and it does lock down the forefoot awesomely. I didn't feel like I was sliding around or anything like that. The other great thing that stopped me from sliding around is the traction. Um, a lot of the time when people grab a shoe that has like a transparent sole like this one, um, uh, it gathers dust a lot easier and you are sliding around the court. I wore these indoors, I don't really wear my shoes outdoors, um, but you can stop on a dime with these. Um, like, so if you're a point guard and you're worried about, you know, that movement in the in, on the court, uh, these are going to be a great pickup for you. It comes with a flight speed chassis, which is going to be great, which is going to offer great balance between response and comfort, I guess, because I, I feel like a lot of times if you're a point guard or you're a shooting guard and you run around the court a lot, you want something that is going to embrace your foot and embrace your soul. So you aren't getting that burning, aching sensation that you can get in the archy foot. I didn't get that with the Jordan 30, so I'm really happy with the way that the um, flight speed chassis works. <laughs> Forefoot zoom is always a great feature on a basketball shoe, especially if you're a player that has a couple of knee problems. So when you're landing after making a layup or going for a block or going for a steal, um, you you want to make sure when you're landing you've got a little bit of cushioning there because that can actually shock all the way up into your patella tendon and cause a lot of tightness in your quads which is known as jumper's knee which is a serious problem with a lot of basketball players also known as patella tendonitis. So the four foot zoom was a great offering with the Jordan 30. For all you guys that are looking for a higher support around the ankle, that was one of the main features that would be suited to someone like a, a power forward or a center. Um, or even if someone that is just a little bit worried about having that extra support around the ankle, it does nicely secure around there. It is nice and soft. It also has like a little inner half sleeve, which provided a little bit of trouble putting the shoe on, but once you got it on and had a little bit of movement, it actually stayed there and locked that ankle down. So this is probably gonna have some of the best support around your high foot compared to a lot of other shoes. I still personally prefer wearing lows, um, but personal preference always comes first when um, choosing a shoe. So if you're looking for a lot of support around the ankle, grab the Jordan 30. Like always, when I'm looking for my next best basketball shoe to wear, I'm always trying to not even think that I'm wearing it. So a lot of the time when I'm trialing a new shoe, I'll talk about a couple of them in a sec, you're always feeling like the laces are coming undone or a strap's coming off or your foot's moving around in the forefoot or the back foot, but I didn't get that with the Jordan 30. The only thing that really um, kind of threw me off was how bulky it is around the top and like I said personally, it's just, it's just preference. Um, the design is so clean on this. I love the white and blue finish. You're always gonna get those nice detailed touches on a Jordan where you can see like a nice little Jordan jump man there. The 30 on the back, which is pretty much like a mixture of the basketball net and you know, triple X. That's another thing. When I wanted to go look up the Jordan 30, um, it's funny if you type in three X's and Jordan, you're not gonna come up with basketball shoes. So to recap, the traction was great. Great lockdown around the forefoot. Um, good lockdown around that ankle, but just a little bit too bulky, so I give it an 8 out of 10. I've got a couple of other shoes that I tried out since last time. I've been a bit sick and had a couple of injuries, so I haven't been able to hit the court as much. But two pickups that I did get was the Hyper Rev and the Hyper Live. Both 
pretty average shoes, especially the um, Hyper Live. So the Hyper Live, so the Hyper Live, I found didn't have much support around the ankle, um, and also in the back foot. I felt like I was slipping out. Had my laces done up tight, but um, I remember I was picking up a guy coming up the court, and he just did a simple crossover, foot slides out of the shoe and you look like a fool. The next is the Hyper Rev 2016. I think these look cool as hell. Uh, they look like a space boot or something like that. And they've got the strap, and I always think the straps are cool if you want that extra lockdown or, you know, just keep your laces locked up so they don't go flying everywhere. But instead of the laces going flying everywhere, the strap just came off. So if you have a pretty wide foot or a high arch in your foot, you're not gonna fit into these greatly. Um, I would recommend them if you have a longer foot but um, definitely not if you have a broad foot. So next week I'll be reviewing the LeBron 13 Low. I grabbed these off East Bay um, and I grabbed a size 10 like normal, but I had to go half a size down, but I haven't been able to grab a 9.5 yet. So I'm gonna get one of those and then I'm gonna get, uh, and then I'm gonna do a much better review so I know exactly how it went. Um, so LeBron 13 is up next. Jump in, jump in, jump in, them boys up to something. They just spent like two or three weeks out the country. Them boys up to something, they just not just bluffing. You don't have to call, I hear my dance like Usher, ooh. I just found my tempo like on DJ Mustard, ooh. I hit that Ginobili with my left hand though, like, ooh. Lobster and Celine for all my babies that I miss. So I hope you enjoyed my Jordan 30 review. Um, give me a like, give me a subscribe, and you can see what I've got coming up next. Thanks guys, bye.